Yeah, it probably helps if I uh, split the recording, doesn't it? There we go. Right. How much hellstone we got? 68. That's, that's not too bad, I suppose. Take that! I also got a lot of demon cloth and stuff like that while I was uh, farming down here. I wasn't far I was just farming for hellstone. Or mining, or whatever. Give me all of your hellstone. It is a little bit of a generic name, though, isn't it? Hellstone. So, what can I say? It's uh, not the end of the world. I mean, there are a lot of, like... We were discussing it yesterday, right? When it comes to generic names of things, I think that all the overall winner is Avatar, the James Cameron film, for the mineral called Unobtainium. Well, the name isn't even correct, because you if you can get it from this planet that they're on, then it is obtainable. So, you know, it's, their description is a little bit off. I mean, isn't... There are loads of other examples of it. I mean, Dalekanium. That's a thing, isn't it? From Doctor Who? Or am I just making that up? I could just be making that up. But I swear that was a thing. I don't really know. It's been a while since I've watched Doctor Who. Oh yeah, I forgot. When you, when you get to the bottom of the world, it, the camera sort of goes a bit weird. And it really does throw me off. Hang on. What's that there? What's that material? I take it that's the abyss. But the camera doesn't let me go down anymore. I'm guessing it will let me go down. It will let me go down further in a certain spot, maybe. I don't know. All right, we'll let that lava out. That's not much. So it's not going to cause too much of a hassle, is it? All right. Give me hellstone, or give me death. But if I'm not careful, the answer is going to be death. Get lost. Right. Ah, uh, dear, 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 dear. I c <sighs> the thing with mining, right? It's, uh, it's, a, it's an all part of this. But I... I do wish we were kind of in late game hard mode, because... It would be so much easier to just use the um, oh, was it the drill containment unit or something like that, and just pretty much rinse through everything. Uh, I think, don't think we're going to flood the house properly. All right. There are probably much more efficient ways of mining hellstone, but this is working for me, so I don't care really. Oh, fire. Yeah, lava protection. Right. How much we got now? 173. I think that's enough. In fact, I think that's more than enough. Although I am concerned about my obsidian supplies. Uh, where is my obsidian, anyway? 130. Uh, actually, I don't have a... I, I have quite a lot, actually. So, Hellstone bars. 57. I'm certainly not complaining at that. Let's go get our purified... Uh, let's put everything away. Ooh, I've got an obsidian vase. Let's, uh, let's go put that in my room. Let's uh, put it in the bed there. There we go. Bubbly. Get ourselves purified gel. And then get ourselves to the correct crafting station 
And I quick stack the freaking hell stone away. Alright. 61 hellstone now. Right. Statagel armor. Gimme. Warding Statagel armor. Even better. And we want the greaves. The wild Statagel greaves. That's alright for our melee defense. Uh, for our melee stuff. And a Statagel hood. Gives me one movement speed. I've never actually seen the Statagel armor. So. Let us have a look see without a die. My god, that looks utterly, utterly ridiculous. And I've got a little slime following me. Summons a mini slime god to fight for you. The type depends on what world evil you have. When you take over 100 damage in one hit, you become immune to damage for an extended period of time. Grants an extra charm and increased charm. What? What? <laughs> that is absurd. <laughs> wow. That is like some of the... That was well worth the investment. <laughs> that Yeah, I like that. I don't like the look of it though, so we're covering it up with the, uh, the molten armor. I still got the nice little little effect. Now let's uh, get rid of the glow mushroom die as well. Let's, uh, yeah, I'm not. Ooh, a wild obsidian rose reduces damage from touching lava. Ooh, okay, I'll have that. Uh, that can go bang. We'll keep the reflective metal die on that balloon though. Yeah, I'll just put that in the misc chest. So in theory, I can now summon two chorus slimes. Yep. And I have the uh, the little slime as well. And let's... So have we got everyone here? All right, we have everyone here. All right, let's, uh, let's go and get some actual weaponry. Because, you know, fighting... I'm going to fight the slime god again. And this is going to go very badly if I do not have any ammo. Uh, where are my meteorite bars, actually? Meteorite bars. I've got a lot of them, so it's safe to say that I'm not going to run out of ammo anytime soon. In theory. Where's the Where's Tyrone? There he is. And we'll also have that. Okay, nine hundred and ninety nine. I also got three extra magnum rounds from somewhere. I don't know where I got those from. Let's not use them. It's probably a waste. Uh, I keep forgetting where I've stacked everything. This is where the uh, storage system would come in handy, but once again, I keep forgetting I've got it, and so I never actually implement it. <sighs> right. Meteor shot. And then that. And so we'll just bin those. Okay. Meteor shot is the one that goes through people, isn't it? Uh, I'll also grab out the mini shark. Where it's gone. There it is. Now, let's see which one is performs slightly better against Captain Slime God. He is not a slime god, he is a slime rubbish. Yeah, that is the one that goes through people. Right. Ow. Ow. Yeah, I don't know. The fact that I've started off really badly does not help. Yeah. My slimes also aren't particularly helpful. <laughs> it's, they're not doing very well at all. They just can't really... Uh, they can't really jump high enough. So, I think we're going to have to... Ow! No, that's the Hornet stuff. Where's the Imp stuff? Did I put it away? Oh, bloody hell, I put it away. Alright, looks like we're using Imp uh, Hornets. Alright. Assuming it did actually summon them. I don't know. Alright. 
Uh, I'm not sure whether the mini shark is actually the best option for this or the uh, jade sniper. Because the sniper is good. It does a lot of damage. Though the mini shark does a lot of DPS as opposed to single target damage. So I, I'm getting hit by something and I'm not quite sure what. Well, I know what I'm getting hit by there. That was obvious. I think I might be in trouble. Run! Heal, 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 heal. There we go. Ow! Ow. Oh. They've got me caught on the roof because of that freaking... Uh, no. Hang on. There we go. Oh, I've got another Nazar. I just saw I picked it up. Where are the other two? Ah, there are no large slimes left. So now he's slightly upset. Okay. Maybe I should kill this guy off first. Ah, let's just use the mini shark to finish him off. I think we murked him slightly. Ow. Uh, why can I attack? Ow, oh, curse. Yeah. Stop walking into the red balls. Uh, I might be in trouble. No, nope, I got him. It's fine. Whew, that was close. Overloaded blaster. So that does damage, right? In fact, that seems to fire in a very similar pattern to the um, that spell tome there. The uh, purple blaze. Let's kind of test this on something. And I will uh, get rid of my hornet and summon the forest line. Right. Toddle off. Where I put it? There is. Over the blaster. Right. That is. Meh, I'm not, I'm not, that's, that doesn't seem that good. Oh, it goes through things. Kind of, not really. Okay. No, I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. Okay, if I'm going to, get to use a weapon, then I'm probably going to use the sniper or the mini shark. All right, here we go. Yeah, I like that armor. The armor is good. What I don't like is that blaster, so I suppose we'll just have to make do with uh, our normal weapons. And, well, now it's just Queen Slime and Wall of Flesh. So, off camera, I am going to go and create a new world. With the Mystic Lands mod, hopefully it should summon in that ore. Because Cleaning Slime God has clearly not spawned in the, um, the ore that's required. Or at least it's not, it's not giving me a message to say that, yeah, that's new stuff's now summoned. So, what, yeah, I'm going to create a new world. And we're just going to sort of switch back and forth between them now and then. I'll probably have it as a Crimson World. I'll stick, keep it on normal difficulty because, well, it's we're on normal difficulty on this world, so it kind of makes sense. Um, and technically at this point I would just be cheaping out the expert mode items because like, if I was trying to fight the Eater of Worlds, for example, I would just... Well, I've got three minions, two, two of which are extremely powerful, and I've got a weapon that, like just goes through pretty much everything so it's it's definitely oh, well you kind of you kind of hopefully see where I'm coming from on that one uh, but yeah I'm gonna do some farming on that on that new world off camera and hopefully at some point we'll um, when I come back I'll have found some. 
Now, there's no guarantee I will have found some. If I don't find any, then we're just going to skip the Queen Slime and go straight for the Wall of Flesh. If I do find some, then we're going to fight Queen Slime. And die. A lot. Uh, that's the wrong chest. I want an actual one. Don't die for that. There we go. A Jade Rose. Wildlife mod. Yeah. Uh, and the bar's just fun. But yeah, so that's all for today, I'm afraid. But, as always, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed it. And until next time, I have been Koldaris. Goodbye.